Hey everyone, Fez here from Crypto Setups. Today I'm going to show you how you can install a wallet that is a Web3 compatible wallet for the Solano ecosystem. Um, this wallet is called Phantom. And now there is a, a Soulflare as well, I believe. Um, I actually have created a tutorial around it. However, after playing with Phantom, I found Phantom just the user experience is um, far better. It's much simpler to use um, and overall just just better so I thought let me do actually do this tutorial first um, now if you are new to the crypto ecosystem and say because Solana is on on the rise at the moment and this is what has brought you in uh, I'm gonna go through this tutorial is gonna highlight the basics uh, what I'm gonna do is how you show you is how you install it and then set up your first wallet and part of that process is i'll talk you through your seed phrase what it means how you store it things like that so it is a beginner's tutorial and um yeah i hope i hope you take away um these things that are important because ensuring you set up your first wallet uh, to uh, correctly is super important and um lastly if if you're just someone who who is an ex expert in in uh, crypto uh, then I, i'll save you some time install um phantom and just set it up as you would metamask etc but if you're not stay on and listen and I'll walk, I'll walk you through the process so first things first you can see this is a solana ecosystem now i've gone um I, i've done a bit of research and i've already looked through this wallet this is the wallet we are going to be installing and um, We'll add it to Chrome. It takes you to the Chrome store um, on the Brave browser. We know the same store. So um, hit add, add the extension, give it a moment, and it's done. You can see as soon as it's done. Now, one of the first things you may want to do is uh, pin it so that it appears on your uh, bar. And there we go, I've pinned it, and there it is. Okay, so as soon as you load it, this is the first step it will automatically load a page i just wanted to show you that so we'll close this now you have two options where you can create a new wallet or use your secret recovery phrase now if you had an existing wallet you would and you wanted to restore it then you would use your secret phrase, uh, phrase because you would have that uh, in this case again i'm assuming you're new and and this is how we're getting started with it so uh, create a new wallet okay now just FYI, purpose of this tutorial, I will be deleting this wallet once I'm done. But this is the uh, recovery phrase. This is very important. So you can see it's got a copy button and it actually asks you, okay, uh, I have saved it somewhere. So make sure you do, because what this is, is this will restore your funds at any given time. Whoever has this phrase, they can load up a new wallet and put this phrase in or you, for example, um, you could on another computer take this phrase, paste it and via that restore setting that we had on the earlier page and then um, it will restore whatever funds you have in this wallet. So this is extremely important that you keep one safe and don't let anyone else get a hold of it in any way, shape or form. So do you put it in cloud storages, etc.? No, do not keep these things in the cloud because if your cloud gets hacked, someone has access to all your uh, crypto, especially in this case, anything you would have in the Solana wallet. So copy it. Um, my process, I have it in text documents that I then save uh, off, offline in various USB drives that I upgrade every two years to make sure that they don't suddenly just stop working. So each to their own, um, you may want to print it and put it in a vault up to you. Uh, but yes, make sure you're being safe with this. So I've copied it. No, I've saved it somewhere. Now the next thing is you need to put in your password. Now this is your password that you'll use every time you need to do something, interact with various dApps, etc. In the future, if you restore via the seed phrase, it will not be the same password. So it will ask you every time if you do a restore via the seed phrase, you need to set up a new password for it. So for this wallet, I'm going to set up a password now. and you need to agree to the terms of service and hit save now this is a lovely oh i didn't mean to skip that but it was just showing you a quick keyboard shortcut if you wanted to load up the app or you could just click on that and um, and then you can join the support channels when you hit finish done it's installed now you can see as soon as i'm loading it up 
it's over here and that is how you set up your wallet it's that simple so let's go through some real basics that is very similar to all the other wallets this is your wallet address over here it gives you menu where you can kind of create more wallets you could import existing wallets you could connect your ledger etc um, coming back to this great I'll close this when you hit receive you can uh, cool it's hyperlinked and you can send so this is your address that you would copy so um, one of the things to make very clear as well if you're getting this wallet set up excited to go and have some Solana and you can't use the wallet uh, with a credit card in terms of to buy Solana you have to buy the tokens on an exchange okay so you would need to use an exchange and then from the exchange you would take your wallet address and send it from there and uh, use the address and send it to this wallet and then from here you can interact with various dApps or actually use the wallet to swap between Sol Solana and stable coins which I'll just quickly show you now as well so closing this um, you can see over here it's deposit if you had various tokens you can look it up over here um, USDC so you can see it's got and if you activate it and hit close there you go um, you will straight away notice as well see these last four BCSF so if I close this to give you an idea uh, BCSF it's all the same when you're adding anything in the as with every other ecosystem the addresses of the various tokens they all belong to the same deposit address for the Solana token because it's that ecosystem you do need to be careful when you're moving it off the exchange so for example this USDC is native to Solana so if you're buying it on Binance and you're trying to move USDC to your Solana wallet you have to make sure it allows you to withdraw it to the Solana ecosystem if it doesn't have that option you cannot send it so um, I think that's why by default FTX is noted because that is the you know exchange they're the ones who have built Solana cool um, the next feature you have is so if you had any NFTs that would all appear in this section of the wallet you can use this wallet to swap between um, tokens which is another great feature so you don't need to actually go and connect to a dApp um, and this shows you your recent activity and then you have um, over here where you can put in various addresses, uh, ensure you have trusted apps. This is kind of cool. When you uh, interact with various dApps, they'll be noted as trusted, but you can quickly come in here once they're trusted and remove them if you're not happy with it. Changing your password, change network. Now, uh, you can export. So remember how we uh, I showed talked about the um, recovery phrase now there's another thing called private keys as well so in this case if I export these private keys I could then import it in any other wallet and it's the same like a seed phrase um, it will restore your funds to wherever I use it so uh, you need to be very safe if you ever export private keys same rules do not put it on the cloud or anything like that um, coming back to the wallet over here so if you want to stake now this option only becomes available once you deposit some Solana in the wallet then it will show you your amount of Solana and when you click on it then some options appear for staking now I'm going to cover staking in a separate video so we'll leave it there but overall this is how you use Phantom my personal preference after setting up the other wallet as well I found this wallet to be a way better so I've actually just scrapped the other tutorial so and definitely this would be my Solana's go-to wallet personally but up to you what you choose to use um, overall uh, make sure you remember the key points I called out re regarding managing your seed phrase and be very careful with your private key but this is what you need to do to set up so then you can start interacting with the NFT stores and everything else that is coming up on Solana including you know wormhole and things like that so uh, once again, thanks for listening. Like, subscribe, share this content around. And if there's any questions or anything, throw in some comments and I'll um, try to answer everything I can. Um, thanks for watching. Take care, everyone.